Texas governor wants to spend millions of dollars to fight the opioid epidemic in the Commonwealth. He made the announcement during his budget presentation last night. In this budget, you are going to see an additional $34 million being applied to the battle against the opioid drug crisis. That's a significant sum. Governor Matt Bevin said $34 million is not enough, but he did say it will go a long way. And one area he wants to focus on is drug addicted pregnant women. Now, Kristen, you have covered mm -hmm. this story for a while. What did you find out? Well, Ryan, folks on the front line are really happy to hear that the governor is paying attention to addicted moms to be. I have covered a program at St. E's called Baby Steps. Its primary goal is to reach the very population Bevin mentioned in his speech. Pregnant women battling addiction. Tasha Brown has come a long way in a short time. She says she used heroin when she was pregnant with Marley here, and that baby steps at St. E's is what helped her find the sober road. What did the baby steps program give you? Um, my life back. It saved my family. Definitely. That kind of work takes people power and money. So when Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin said addicted pregnant women were going to be a fiscal focus going forward. I think that that is a huge commitment. Danielle Matthew, a nurse who has a front row seat to the epidemic, couldn't have been more pleased. She works with these moms. She knows what they need. Our main priority uh, and what we see as a huge need in this community is residential treatment for these women. And what helps them will help their children. I think it's a, an amazing investment. How can you um, actually put any dollar figure on the investment of a child? And St. Elizabeth is starting a new program for addicted moms to be February 1st, focusing on medication assisted treatment. She says moms who need it face all kinds of barriers, everything from having cash for necessities to transportation to childcare. It is yet another reason she applauds Bevin's focus. And it comes at a time when St. Elizabeth Healthcare is working with community partners to develop a regional plan to address this issue, Ryan.